guess who finally found her camera? Me! I did. I found my camera. It is a camera. It is very old and wasn't that great in the first place. So, the quality might go down, but I might actually start making sense when I speak because I can look at my phone for the notes that are on my phone. Like this. This is my notes. These are my phone. Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing my June wrap-up for books that I read in June. I didn't read as many books in June as I wanted to read in June, but I did read books in June. I read only three books, three of them, three books, in June, which is not as many as I wanted to read, but it is what it is. And one of those books I read all in one day, so there's that. The first book I read in June was The Star-Touched Queen by Roshni Chosky, Chosky, by Roshni Chosky. And it was a fantasy, it's a fantasy YA novel about a girl with a terrible horoscope, and then stuff happens. I feel like saying anything beyond that would be spoilery because I didn't know anything beyond that. So, I gave this book five stars because I really enjoyed it. It was very different from a lot of fantasy books I've read, I think, and it's a very uh, well-written story, very, um richly woven tapestry of a story, I would say, and so I gave it five stars because I really liked it. And I hope to read A Crown of Wishes sooner rather than later. I believe I have it. I'm on the wait list at the library. Roshni Chosky is one of the authors involved with uh, Rick Riordan's imprint, and so she has a book about, I think, it involves Hindu mythology, which is coming out next year as part of that imprint, and that's part of why I really wanted to read uh, Star Touched Queen, though I wanted to read it in general. It was already on my to read list, but I'm also really excited for that. As a side note, the second book I read in June was Shadowcaster by Cinda Williams Chima, which is the second book in the Shattered Realm series, which is the sequel series to the Seven Realm series which Shadowcaster follows different people than it does Flamecaster for about the first half of the book takes place about the same time as Flamecaster, which is different, but, um, but then about midpoint they sort of catch up to each other. Though I was kind of sad that we didn't get to see Ash at all in this book. I guess that's spoilery to say, but we don't, I mean it's not a huge spoiler. You, we don't see Ash at all in this book. We do see Jenna, but we don't see Ash. That's neither. That's irrelevant. But anyway, I gave this book five stars, unlike um, Flamecaster, because I really enjoyed all of the POV characters. I really liked Liss. She was, um, in a way, she was sort of the badass princess, warrior princess trope, but um, not in a crappy way. Does that make sense? I feel like a lot of times warrior princesses, oh, they're just sort of stubborn and bratty. Sort of like, um, Ryza, Reza, 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 from the Seven Realms Quartet, Lisa's mother, was sort of that trope where she was, you know, supposed to be kick-ass, but she kind of wasn't, whereas Lys actually is kick-ass. So I really liked her a lot. And I gave this book five stars. Yes. And I'm excited to read Stormcaster next year. I read Shadowcaster in about six hours because I had to read it immediately or else the loan would expire. So, yes. And then the third and final book that I read this month, this past month, was Wires and Nerve Volume 1 by Marissa Meyer. It is a graphic novel. It's about ten chapters long. It's not super long. 200 something pages maybe. So it went by really quick, but it is a um, spin-off uh, duology, graphic novel duology from the Lunar Chronicles, which is one of my all-time favorite series, like, ever. And this follows um, Eco, who is the android friend of Cinder, who is an android, and in this book she is a werewolf hunter, basically. So it's about android werewolf hunter, and if that does not interest you, then I don't know what will. So that is it for books that I read in June. In July, I hope to read a few more books. 
Uh, I don't really want to get into a TBR, but on my list, on my TBR list, hopefully for July, is Frost Like Night by Sarah Roche and Wind Witch by Susan Denard, finally. Hopefully I need to finish that, like, now. Like, before it expires again, I need to read it. And I was, I did start reading Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo in June, but I didn't really get very far in it, um, because, I, it's not because I didn't like it, but I'm afraid of not liking that, if that makes sense, so I didn't want to read too much of it, because I'm worried that I won't like it. But I'll never know unless I read it, so hopefully maybe I'll get back to reading Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo this month as well. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, feel free to tell me down below what you read in June and plan to read in July. Goodbye!